We hear yes. Queen Naja. How, how you doing, Queen Naja? How you doing with all that 2020 is given? Um, actually, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm doing pretty well over here. Doing pretty good. Right. Just released my album and um my debut album at that, and I'm getting good feedback. I'm super excited. You know, I'm doing great. Well, I like the new single. Um, and I, I'm I, I'm excited about the album. I listened to the album today, and I like the album too. Um, but let's talk about voting. As a mm -hmm. young woman, 25 years old, how important is it for you? I mean, now 91 million people have already voted, but how important is it for millennials to vote right now in this time in this era? That did you and did and are you voting tomorrow or did you already vote? Okay, so let me tell you, this is this year is the first time that I've ever voted. I did the primary election. Um, I did not, I did not vote yet, but I'm going tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I don't care, you know. what I'm saying I don't even got a babysitter tomorrow, but we're gonna figure it out. Um, you know, I've never really been into politics, so I'm still learning. So I don't like to speak on things that I'm uneducated about. Mm -hmm. But all I know is, um, we not in a good place. So I want to do all that I can to um you know use my platform and my my voters right you know to go vote because um yeah this this man this what we're going through now is like this yeah, it's really important that we vote and use our right you know people fought for this right we should use exactly. it exactly you know i'm a i don't i don't want it to go in vain i'm gonna tell all of my supporters everybody who live here in atlanta to go vote and um i'm down i, I did last minute but at least i'm doing it we appreciate that. I think that's very courageous of you to just even use your platform to be honest enough to say that this will be your first time and yes. not be embarrassed about that and not have the guilt eat you up because this is when it matters that you can now. Mm -hmm. And so right. your followers that are going to follow you and see what you're doing, bravo to you for doing it and saying it and sharing it with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. No shame right, in my game. Let's talk about your music. Okay, misunderstood. That features Mulatto, Lucky Day, Lucky Day, Little Dirk. Who are you the most excited about to be on this album? Man, um, okay, so yeah. <laughs> truthfully, I'm I don't want to I don't want to say favorites because I really am I'm happy for it. I'm happy for all the people that came on my album, you know what I'm saying? Because um, you know, I, I had plans for a lot of other people, but you know, I feel like it was it went how it was meant to go. And okay. the people that really messed with me at the time, um Turn, they did it with a quick turnaround, you know, and a lot of people that I asked that I wanted to be on there, um, you know, we had different schedules and things like that. And some people didn't even reply, but I'm just grateful for those people who, um, who really mess with me and support me. It's, it's good to have support in the industry from your peers. Who didn't so reply? I, who didn't reply? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to say no name. Now you know, you got to come on here and give us something. Come on, come on, oh, Monday's girl. I just we not the who 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 gonna catch the vapors when it's really 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 blows up and you can be like damn I should have called them back. Um, I, I don't think I should because <laughs> when I leave off this show, guess what? When I leave off this show, then I'm gonna have to deal with everything. So, no. I mean, I, the auntie I, I feel like back. It's going how it was meant to. It, it was meant to go, and I didn't go. I have. I still have room to level up. I still have room. You know, I didn't go out with all the big features right away, cause not. I didn't want the features to like take away from my album and people be focused more on the features. I wanted them to hear from me, you know, from my yes. debut. So, um, and I wanted them to know that I can really hold my own. You feel me? Like uh -huh. even without the biggest try. features. And you wrote me to toot her own horn, but beep beep, y'all. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> toot her horn a little bit because. I would say that you, oh, let me ask it this way. Do you contribute your success to being a YouTube phenomenon? Um, definitely. I mean, I went to, I went into the label with the fan base already. So that's one down already. Hello. Um, you know, mm -hmm. I had people that I was on the charts before I even got signed with medicine. I didn't, I didn't plan for that. I um, mean, I didn't know what was going to happen, but YouTube is really like contributed so much you know, it's opened so many doors for me and um, I'm forever grateful for you too. So I want to talk about your thing. I know Selena, you, I know I, I, I'm double dipping here, but <laughs> I wanted to, to piggyback off of what Vivica was asking about, about your music. And mm -hmm. I know Selena, you, asked, you said something, I think your first question. She said that I write my own music. I I know know yeah, but I know your, your um, first, well, I don't know if it's your first single, but your single, um, Pack Light. Mm -hmm. was the first one to the album. Good time. Million streamers globally. Wow, million. girl, I, collectively together, we ain't got forty-two million. 
I'm going to have to call you. Okay. So, so <laughs> your video was directed by Tiana Taylor. So how yes. was it working with Tiana? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Man, I love Tiana, man. She's such mm -hmm. a boss. I'm so happy we got the chance to work. You know, it's crazy because um, I think the way the way we met, she uh, I was like singing her song, just supporting pe people as usual. It's supporting her on my um, Instagram story. She DM me on there, and um, I guess from there we kept in touch. And then I think one day she called me, and she called the wrong person, and she was just sent talking. I'm just like, wait a minute, I think you got the wrong person. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. And I just was like, no, wait a minute though, can you direct my music video? Cause I'm kind of glad you called. <laughs> so, wait um, a girl. the moment, girl. Yeah, yes. it kind of, it kind of just happened. Like it, it didn't even, we didn't even plan for it to go that way, but. She was like, yeah, and she was pregnant too. So I'm like, you can direct it while you like, I didn't know she was like big like but that. Of course. And she still did it. And she she did it, man. I just watched her in there just directing everything and overseeing everything on the phone calls at the same time, handling other business. And I just looked at her like with so much admiration because like, you know, she's such a beautiful boss, you know, mm -hmm. and I want to be the same. So you went for it when you got a chance to talk to her. So I got to go for it right now uh -huh. real quick because in the comments, the fans are asking if they can hear a little bit about that voice. If you could sing like even like a, a line, a bar or something like they're, they're kind of blowing us up right now. Are they? Yes. <laughs> are they? Are they? Girl, they you you going to put me on a spot like that to sing something right now? 1000%. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Oh man, now what could I sing? Oh my lord, what y'all did here? Sing a piece of the flight, medicine? Sing, sing a piece of the single. That's what you're supposed a to sing. A piece of the single? That's what you gotta sing. You gotta promote your single. <laughs> you gotta promote your new I album. I got a lot of singles out. Shoot. Big so, one. Okay, girl. Sing Pack Light. That's okay. the 43 million stream. Oh. All right, I'm gonna just, uh, uh, let me see. Um, shoot, oh my God. You don't get it, do ya? I'm telling you I had it. No, I can only take so much. Hey, hey, you don't get it, do ya? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Strange, strange. That was fabulous. I love how it. It, it, it was like, can I just say this really quick? It was like watching someone play a beautiful instrument with their voice. That was fabulous. <laughs> That was so like off guard too. My bad. You I want to know, yeah. hmm? no know what that body do. No, I want to know what that body do. She got, she got you body. Know, this, <laughs> and I'm it's, asking for a reason. So get up, turn around. Let me see you, girl. What you working? Does that oh, You know, y'all gonna. Like, I got on pajama pants right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Hey. Oh <laughs> no. Oh, oh. So, so Queen Nadia, <laughs> Lisa Ray, Queen Nadia, Lisa Ray, Ray just got her. her okay. Lisa Ray just. Lisa Ray just got her OnlyFans page, so she's looking for pointers. So Lisa Ray, you should turn around and do that too. Right, right. Oh, Claudia. You got to just watch that. Little you bit. down. What I want to say, Queen, <laughs> is I have what she meant to say was I have my gene line that's coming out. That's oh, what yeah. she meant to say. That's what I meant to say. Well, well send them. I want, I want to see your body shape so I can give you a call and ring you up and give you a picture. I still need to work it out. You know, I got to, um, I, you know, I had two C-sections with both my kids. And after that, you know, it, they messed up my stomach, you know, and, um, Girl, I got a, I got a that. tummy tuck. I had got a tummy tuck and I had got a BBL last year. I was really open about it. Did a YouTube video. Didn't care. Ain't no shame in my game. Um, I know that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I got, I got some surgery, um, done just like a fat transfer. No, nothing inserted. And I just transferred my love handles and I push it down a little bit to my butt. And um, I must say that you do need to work out after to maintain it, maintain it. Cause I've watched myself, you know, not really um take care of it as much, gain weight and just like, it. then I start to look, you gotta keep in shape. Absolutely. You have to keep in shape. Right. Cause like, you, you, you know, start you looking wide. Little, little bit fluffy baby, it's all right. The yeah, I know, but you know. Say, you know what? Okay, time to pull back. Yeah, because yeah. she's like, I don't want to look like this. Right. I did all of this for nothing then. Right. Yeah. Keep it don't up. let that yeah. money go to waste, though. Right. No, I actually got my money back, though, because I did a video. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. okay. Okay. I still you don't know. want to go to waste, though. Uh oh. Queen, you've been super transparent. That's why I think you're resonating with your fans. You've gone through a lot of transitions, public divorce, starting a new relationship, having a child. 
and, and, and all of these things. And then in the middle of all those obstacles, a new relationship with your man, Clarence. And mm -hmm. you've done this all in front of an audience. And I know, you know, the trolls out here are, are just, just so extra. So um, does that affect you? And when did you realize Clarence was the one for you? Um, My bad. I, these notifications. Honestly, yes. You, sometimes you it does see. affect me because I'm a human, you know? And I think people look at us. Uh-oh. We good? Mm -hmm. no. yeah. I think people people look at us as um they put us on a pedestal, you know, public figures and celebrities, all of us, and we're human, you know. And a lot of times, you're not supposed to see everything that everyone thinks about you, you know. Even if they think in the worst and, and they don't mean it, it's just like you're not supposed to see it because that can mess with you, like your mental. Um, but overall, you know, I mean, I try to try to think like, okay, I'm never gonna meet these people in real life, and I have to look at myself and and like. I don't know, just like see who I, I know who I am and I know what I do. And, you know, I know the type of person I am and I can't let other people, you know, determine that. But um, you said, does it affect me? I answered that question, my bad. I just kind of got to, well, what was how'd it? You know the Clarence, how'd you oh, know how that Clarence, you know that Clarence was the one? Um, you know, Clarence is different. He's very different from my last relationship. He's more mature. And one thing that always stuck out to me is when we were when we were just friends, he um he told me that I could shine without a man, you know? He wanted me to uh because when I when I came into his life, he came into mine, so I was pretty I was pretty much like a broken kind of girl, low confidence, just just all busted and broken from my last um marriage. And um he was just a very great friend to me. And um we were completely honest with each other and raw. And like I said, the thing that stuck out was when he told me I could I could shine without a man. And I love that. Cause like he, he never tried to come and take the shine and try to make it seem like, Oh, I'm the re like I did, you know, he always tried to pour into me and, and, and he brought a lot of life back into me. So now he's happy. a great man. Are you happy? Oh, was well, she, uh, Vivica asked, are you happy? Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. It ain't perfect, but I'm happy. You know, speaking I of trust. happy, I know that you're happy about this new album. And the mm -hmm. name of the album is called Misunderstood. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're a writer. You write your music. I can tell that you write your music. I can mm -hmm. tell that you write your lyrics. Majority, because, yeah. Yeah, because they, they depict your life. What, how do you feel that you are misunderstood? Because I know that this album, as a writer myself, and I've written all my albums, so I understand you, you're telling your life story. How do you feel about, how do you explain being under, misunderstood in your new album? Man, I, you know, this is a pretty broad question. I just feel like people misunderstand me as a person. They misunderstand the things that I say. They've misconstrued me as an artist and like think that everything I'm talking about, about my current life. Um, and I just think people just got me, I don't know like how to really say it. They got me misunderstood. Like a lot of people right now are pretty, shop that I came with the music that I came with because they I don't know they didn't think I was really like that you know um but it's a lot of things that people have said about me online publicly that I feel you know they're misunderstanding the person that I am you know people don't know me in real life and they they try to take and depict like from little clips of videos and try to put things together in their own theories mm -hmm. and they think they got got it all down packed about me y'all don't even know me so is your music you know. is your music exp explaining who you are? Do you think it explains most who de most definitely? I would say for the most part, but also I'm trying to tap into my artistry bag too and talk about different topics that I probably you know that other people can relate to that I'm probably not going through at the current time. But um, that's just a part of being an artist, you know. It's like being an actress as well. You know what I was gonna say that I was gonna say you know just welcome to the business period because. That's exactly what happens. You have to have thick skin because yeah. uh, uh, as, as strong as I am and as rah-rah, I'm very, very sensitive also. But some things get out there and then some, some, some things don't. And you're right. They think they know you and you give a little bit and they take a mile. And you're like, I didn't even mean that because I paraphrase a lot. Right. I start off by saying something and they'll take just that part and go on along with it. But a part of you have to straddle the fence of that because you want to say, I don't care what anybody say because I'm right. going to be me. You know, you say that, but then you check in with the temperature and go, well, what are they saying? Because that helps you gauge where you are and what they think. And so then you can manipulate it if you want to, or you can control it. 
or pull it back or roll it back. So, you know, I, I'm glad that you got your head on strong, yeah. you know, yes. and whatever insecurities that you have, guess what? We all have them. You know what I mean? And right. you're going to grow out of that as well. And even us queens here now, we learning something different every day, even about right. ourselves. You know what I mean? And I mean, the day you stop doing that, then you might as well just go ahead over and roll over and just <laughs> go on over to the back. So congratulations. Queen, Thank Queen you. Naja, uh, Lisa Ray said, uh, said uh, the ladies said a mouthful and, and you're in the beginning of your journey, but you've already bubbled and popped and, you know, you got to have a strong skin, like a thick skin, like she said, but it seems like you're handling it just fine. And you get that outlet of you and your amazing talent to put all that hurt and your, 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 your clap back into your music and get more hits. So we want to just like wish you the best on your journey. Yeah. You're doing Thank your you. thing and you are beautiful. And I just love your spirit and your vibe and, and how y'all are beautiful too. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Happy holidays from the Queens. And, and congratulations. Right. Congratulations on your first voting experience. Well, your second hey. voting experience tomorrow. Like big respect to you. We want to thank Queen Naja for joining us tonight. Her new album, Misunderstood, is currently out on all streaming platforms. Make sure you cop that and support the sister. 